A local officer is in jail this afternoon charged with shooting his parents. This happened in Union Township Friday night, but we have just learned that the suspect in the shooting is a sworn law enforcement officer. David Winter is in the Breaking News Center right now after breaking this story on Local 12 News first at four. Uh, David, what do we know about this case? Adam, Local 12 had, the sen had sent a crew to the shooting on Friday, but since it turned out to be two people shot in their arms, we reported the incident and then we moved on. It wasn't until late this afternoon that we realized the accused shooter in this case is an Ohio Department of Natural Resources officer assigned to East Fork State Park. The scene unfolding at 1030 Friday night in a neighborhood about halfway between Batavia and Eastgate Mall. In the home, 25-year-old Austin Snyder, a sworn ODNR officer, lived with his parents and 22-year-old sister. Union Township police say Snyder shot both his parents. Here's how the 911 operator recorded the call. At 10:25, the mother called saying her son is under the influence and tearing up items. She told the operator her son is ODNR officer Austin Snyder. A minute later, the mom said her son is locked outside, but a minute after that, she said Snyder had gained access to the home and she and her husband were locked in a room. By 1028, both the mom and dad said they had been shot, dad in the arm, mom in the arm and shoulder. Police arrived within minutes and the first officer said a man matching the 911 description was at the edge of the driveway. He ordered him to the ground at gunpoint and after making the arrest without incident, the policeman said he noticed a strong odor of alcohol on the suspect. He said he also noted his speech was slurred. Another officer went inside the home. He reported observing several bullet holes in the bedroom door and on the walls of the bedroom. He said he also found several casings in the Fourier area outside of Mr. Snyder's bedroom. Police say he shot his parents through their door. When another officer questioned the parents, he reports they said their son had called them due to being too drunk to drive, and when they picked him up, he just went berserk. The mother told police as soon as they crossed over State Route 32, her son began getting angry and punching the dashboard. When another officer questioned Snyder's little sister, who had escaped through a window during the alleged assault, she told the officer her brother was going through a lot and he was not a bad guy. Either way, Snyder appeared in court today. He's charged with two counts of felonious assault. We did just get a statement from ODNR. Here's what it says. Snyder was off duty at the time of the alleged incident. If released during the course of the criminal investigation, he will not be allowed to return to work. We're following the criminal investigation and evaluating the next steps as it relates to his employment. Snyder, by the way, is in jail on a $500,000 bond. Adam? All right, David, thank you. Each felonious assault count carries a sentence of up to eight years in prison.